Hey class, let's talk about estimating for subtrades. Subtrades and takeoffs fall into two kind of groups. Subtrades that rely on you telling them the quantity of items or pieces you want them to install. And that would be an example like electrical, you know, how many pot lights and switches you want them to install. And then other trades are area based. And those are things like drywall, flooring, tile, paint. It's going to be area based. So let's start by looking at trades that are area based and how to do takeoffs for them. Like framing, the best way to do this is you grab your scale, you're gonna scale a wall like this one, my exterior wall, and I put the dimension down parallel to that wall. I scale the short side, and I get a dimension like 12. You notice that I'm not grabbing my scale and redoing it as we're talking, because I've already done this before. I write it down once, I never do it again. I then multiply just length time width, and I get my area. And I write that just like framing for my floor takeoff in the middle of where the X's cross, and I remind myself that is 228 square feet. I can scale the storage room, mechanical room, powder room, an entry, any area that has an area takeoff. Do the same thing upstairs, write them all down. So bedroom is 120, living dining room. It's a bit of an irregular shape. So I've broken that up into smaller chunks. So I did you know, that box first. Then I took the kitchen, this box, and then I did this hallway and added all three together and I got 197 square feet. Same thing in the bathroom for the floor, laundry um, under the shower, or under the washer dryer, and I did, did the bedroom. So once I have those areas, I can move through and then start to put those into my estimate sheet. So for flooring, storage room is supply install FF01 at 220 square feet. Supply install the, the, uh, the tile finish, which we can tell by another drawing. 21 square feet, and then the entry is supply installed, 27 square feet of tile, and then entry. So it's all area-based. When I get to my drywall, because I know the floor space, and if I look at my interior ceiling height, which is eight feet, I can take the uh, linear area of those walls, multiply that by the wall height to get my wall area, and then my ceiling area is 228. So I add those all together for an area-based takeoff for things like drywall, paint, flooring, and it's area based. The other thing that area helps you with is looking at things like exteriors. So I can flip to my exterior elevations and I can do exterior takeoffs for things like cladding, things like roofing, um, things like even um, uh, soffits for this overhang. They're all area based uh, supply from your sub trades. So confirm with your trades how they do takeoffs. And when you do a big wall like this, Again, leave your dimensions on the page. You never have to do them again. They're always there for your reference. Draw corner to corner so you know what that area was for. And for me, I've done a just a note here to help myself remember that what kind of metal cladding is that? Well, it's Agway Metals Air 25. And I pulled that from my wall schedule. So the backside, I know that's different. That's a different takeoff. So 620 and a half square feet for hardy board with a nine and three quarter lap siding. So the areas work really well for things like cladding. They also work for, again, other finished areas um, like tile. So, you know, I've moved through my bathroom elevations and because I have a, a shower with tile on three sides and on the ceiling and on the floor, I have done the area for each shower wall. So I can add that up to know that, you know, for my FF01, which is a tile finish, I can add up all those cumulative areas to get the area. I can then also look at, I have a tile baseboard, and because that's a tile material, they buy it per square foot, I can take the linear length by the height and figure out how many square feet that tile baseboard is, then add them all up. Other categories, like even countertops, you know, if it is um, not like an IKEA vanity where it's supplied with a matching supplied sink and countertop, you have to buy a solid surface top and cut the sink out, you buy those by square foot, you're charged by square foot. So I've done the air takeoffs for the vanity top. I've done the air takeoffs for the countertops as per the spec. So I have 12 square feet of SS01 and I've got another, looks like another uh, one or sorry, two square feet of SS02. So all that can get broken down by area. So knowing what you're doing takeoffs for is important and using those takeoffs can you know, help you do breakdowns like this for the exteriors. Um, four different cladding types. And the one thing to note is when you're doing 
area tag offs for cladding is that you can decide whether you're going to remove certain areas for things like doorways and larger windows. So my basic rule of thumb is if the area of a window or a door is greater than a sheet of plywood, so four by eight, so 32 square feet, I'd remove that from the overall area. The reason why I don't remove it from larger areas like this, where the window is smaller than a sheet of plywood, is it's, instead of getting into costing for the area of cladding and then the linear foot of flashing that that trade will do around that window, simply sticking with the area for preliminary costing will allow you to get pretty close to what their projected subtrade cost will be. And that's because the cost to install cladding on a flat wall, even though you have savings by not running that cladding through the window, you have incurred costs to flash around in detail around that window. It's a lot more time. So for simple, simple takeoffs for this example, we're going to look at takeoffs for the whole area and only subtract things like this double patio door if the area of the door is greater than 32 square feet. So in this case, it's a 60 square foot door. I've taken that out of the lap siding. I've also taken out the garage door out of the siding um, and just counted the area. So taking the total area minus the door, write down the square footage, leave it on the plan. Best way to do it. So look at whether your trades are area or unit based. Do your takeoffs, leave them on the plan. So you work through your estimate sheet. You can refer to these takeoffs and pull off the necessary dimensions and areas. Okay, thanks.